Selection breadcrumbs lets you see how the different elements of your model are related to one another. When you select an element, the breadcrumbs display the hierarchical structure of the element, along with the corresponding mates of a component or the sketch of feature. For the 2017 update, SolidWorks enhanced the selection breadcrumbs to display information only for the entity that's highlighted, making it easier for you to visually see what mates belong to a specific component. For example, if I select the Sting Drive Shaft subassembly, you can see the mate breadcrumbs that apply to the subassembly. But if I hover my cursor over the Drive Assembly breadcrumb, you can see the mate breadcrumbs disappear. Let me expand the Sting Drive Shaft subassembly folder. Now I'll select the first single cog subassembly, and you can see the mate breadcrumbs that apply to this subassembly. And if I hover my cursor over the Sting Drive Shaft breadcrumb, just like before, you can see the mates that apply to this subassembly. And if I hover my cursor over the drive assembly breadcrumb, you can see that there are no mate breadcrumbs as expected. You can also see if a mate has an error or failure right from the breadcrumbs. To show you, let me quickly add a coincident mate between two faces and select Add This Mate and Over Define the Assembly. Now, if I select the brake rotor, you can see the mate breadcrumbs display if there's an error or warning with them. Let me suppress the mate I just added. Now when I reselect the brake rotor, you can see the errors and warning were removed from the mate breadcrumbs. And the mate I just suppressed now appears light gray, letting me know that this mate is suppressed. Notice if I actually click the part breadcrumb, the component's reference planes display right underneath the breadcrumb. This provides an easy way to pre-select planes for mating and sketching, as well as controlling its visibility and appearance.